Hello. So, uh, this is the another collection video, update sort of thing. And, uh, this is going to be a short collection because there's only seven games to it. So, anyways. What we got here is a Neo Geo Pocket Color. It's a nifty little thing, which, uh, clicky joystick here. Has two buttons. It has a power button thing. And it does that. Has no backlight, so it's difficult to see uh, in dark places. That's the little thing there, and that's enough. That's all we're gonna do. Um, you have a button here. You got a slot to put in your games. You got a plug to put in. I don't know. Je ne sais quoi. You got a place for your batteries. You got a place for your lithium ion battery, whatever you call it. You know, the, the copper thing, the flat ones. Uh, because this thing saves your saves your game data until the battery dies, in which case there goes your game data. So we're gonna leave that here, and I got a measly seven games for this. And this I think was at a video store. I don't recall. It's it was a video store or a specialty store, and it came with the console, the handheld, and six games. And uh, these, this, these are the six games that I came with. So you got Neo Turf Masters. There we go, Neo Turf Masters, which is a golf game. And I'm not a fan of golf games. And generally speaking, I'm not a fan of sports games in general. But uh, I enjoyed Neo Turf Masters. I thought it was a fun little game. Yeah, certainly something that you know, something to kill time with on a bus trip or something. Yeah, King of Fighters R2, you know, which is a chipified King of Fighters game. You got Samurai Showdown 2 Pocket Fighting Series, which is a chipified version of Final, I guess, Samurai Showdown, or some incarnation of that game. Yeah, Fatal Fury, I'm guessing that's First Contact? Yeah, First Contact. So we got that. Have Metal Slug First Mission. You know, you could never go wrong with Metal Slug, I suppose. And the last game that this came with, and this is a surprise to me, Pac-Man. And it's a fairly functional version of Pac-Man. You know? But, you know, as, 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 as good a version of Pac-Man as you could You'll, you'll find on something like a Game Gear or a Game Boy, you know, you know, you could play either full screen or, you know, full resolution, which is cropped up, you have to scroll around a bit. So those are the six games it came with, and then years later, I finally was able to add another one to the collection, and that's Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure. And up until the Game Boy Advance came along with the Sonic Advance series, this was probably the best portable Sonic game you could get. Blows the Game Gear efforts out of the water. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's basically like a, a reimagining or a remake of Sonic the Hedgehog 2 with some Sonic 3 elements. You know, really, really good Sonic game. And, um, you know, if you don't have a Game Boy Advance but you have this, this is probably the one to go with. So, so that's my Neo Geo Pocket Color collection measly seven games but I got a shitload of mileage with these seven games I had this for years uh, long before this whole YouTube thing became a thing so you know definitely got some mileage out of at least these six games and certainly I've had my fun with Sonic so anyways that does it for this collection video till next time take care and good night later